I'm going to apply this video, yes, to your personal life. However, I'm going to also apply it to social media, primarily TikTok, because a lot of you need to be more discerning about who it is that you are listening to. And why am I saying TikTok? Because you are thrown into a For You page of creators that you might not necessarily follow and whose content may have you living in a negative past and making you miserable and ruminating on it without your conscious awareness of it. Now, here's the thing with YouTube. You come on YouTube, you see thumbnails. You can pick and choose what you watch on YouTube. Now, here's the thing with TikTok. Unless you go to the creator's page and they make thumbnails, you don't necessarily have that choice. A few nights ago, my mom is here and she ended up sleeping over and when we woke up, I don't know why I did this. I go on the app, I scroll. I don't, I, I know I used to see this creator. I'm not saying anyone's names. I don't need to like bring anybody down to prove my point. See this creator and oh my God. It's like, listen, you want to talk about something negative that happened to your pa in your past and you want to like help people through it, that's one thing. W did I leave with any information to help me in the future? I left her page the whole day. I felt like drained. I'm not even kidding you. It took me half the day to like feel better. And why? Because what she was talking about you know, I could relate to it back from my past, but now it's not relevant to me. And honestly, like, here's where the concern comes in. Imagine the audience following this person for God knows how long. And it's like her content is not positive. It's not uplifting. It's not even really humorous. It's just like negative. It's not giving me hope. It's not giving me inspiration to create a better future. You're basically just telling me that everyone is narcissistic and, and what? You're not telling me like how to find a good man. You're not telling me where to find a good man. It's like you guys have to stop listening to only people like that. Is it informational to an extent? Sure. But like over the long term, you have to understand that at a point it doesn't apply. But if you just keep following this person, you don't really understand that and you just keep following them and you keep reliving the past. A few weeks ago, I was at Starbucks and this girl came up to me and she thought that she knew me, but she didn't. And she asked me to give her my number and so I did. And then she asked me to call her at one point that week, which I did. She invited me to this meeting last night for an e-commerce company. And when I left that, com that, when I left that meeting, I felt so uplifted and so inspired and so excited to have like another opportunity in my life like another learning opportunity this person has given me two books in the past week the feelings that i felt after leaving that meeting compared to one tiktok video that i watched it's mind-blowing how your environment will affect you if you allow it to so before I start this video, I'm just going to say that if you have these more negative mindsets, I really encourage you to not only look at the people in your life, but also to look at who it is that you are listening to on a daily basis on social media, on TV, on the news. And I also want to say that we cannot always help the people that we care about in our lives the way that we would like to. We cannot always change them the way that we would like to. That does not mean that we necessarily abandon them. The problem becomes when we allow their mindset or their decisions or their behaviors to affect us and affect our lives and affect our mind. That is when it becomes a problem. Again, if you have these negative mindsets, I just wanna say, don't come for me because you don't know what I've been through and I'm not about to get into all of it, but just understand that it has not been pretty. And I will give you some maybe things to think about in order to think differently but yeah no do not underestimate society's ability to really impact the way you think about your capabilities and about the capabilities of people around you especially involving finances and relationships so that brings me into the first one the scarcity versus abundant mindset when someone lives in a scarcity mindset they are so focused on whatever they lack. They are so focused on what they do not have. 
They are so hyper fixated on that one thing. When it is severe, it's very difficult to bring these individuals into a more positive outlook on life and like to, to help them to see the possibilities that lay before them. When you are always hanging around people who are constantly talking about men are trash, women are trash, th these people are trash, everyone's trash, you are not going to believe that relationships, that good relationships are possible for you. We need to stop seeing things in black and white. We need to understand that you only think that way because you have not seen better. If getting you to a place of seeing better or knowing that there is better for you requires you to do inner work, then by all means. But, you know, it's actually delusional to think that there are not better people out there. And believe me, I've seen, I've seen the worst of it, okay? And if I can sit here and say that, it's like, and despite me having experienced really bad people and really bad relationships, at this point in my life, I'm actually not pursuing a relationship. I'm actually really focused on myself and that's by choice. But I also know that if I were to go out and really try, I would find a good man. Because after reflecting on experiences, I have assured myself that there are red flags and there are green flags that I should be more aware of going forward. So I don't doubt for a second that I wouldn't eventually find a good man. Like I know that's very much possible. And like I said, I've been through it. Another thing you have to understand is that these people, when you get what they don't have, they will not be happy for you. And that is toxic for many reasons. When you don't feel uplifted by the people around you, you don't feel uplifted about what it is that you are doing. So my best recommendation for this is to start listening to inspirational podcasts if that person is the only person you have to listen to or turn to more inspirational people in your life. Turn to more positive people in your life, whether that is a coworker, a manager, a teacher, whoever. Turn to them and talk to them more and understand that their outlook is a lot more practical, actually, than the negative person in your life. And now listen, we are all the victims of something. We have all experienced negative experiences in our lives. However, that does not require us to, I don't wanna say harp on it because yeah, we're gonna bring it up to our friends. We're gonna bring it up to our family. We're gonna bring it up as needed. We're going to relive the experience either through emotions or through conversations. It's going to come up. However, if they are on a mission to live in that situation because they are so addicted to feeling the stress related with that situation. And of course, this is going to come into their relationships in several ways and into their friendships in several ways because it's going to diminish their confidence and their self-esteem because they are taking no actions to prevail. So a survivor, on the other hand, understands what they have been through. They don't necessarily diminish their experiences or diminish the importance of their experiences. However, they understand that, you know, it wasn't their fault they are a survivor because they were a victim to whatever happened to them. They didn't necessarily deserve it. However, they also understand that their future behaviors don't have to be so impacted by the past experience that it hinders their growth. So that's one thing to understand is that when someone is living in a victim mindset constantly, they're not going to be happy when you move forward and when you make accomplishments in your life because they're, they're continuing to live in the past by choice. It's like you can be a victim, like it's not necessarily a victim mindset if you are just talking to your friend about past experiences, but when you literally inhibit yourself because of these past experiences and then you blame everyone but yourself, it's like you have to understand that you are not what has happened to you. You do not have to sit here and live in that situation forever. You can pick yourself back up and you can move forward in life because I've been there. These people also won't be able to show you the happiness and the support that you deserve when you make certain accomplishments in your life. And especially when you are like, if you are fortunate in some instance, like I've noticed this with people like that I've known, if one person was more fortunate to, you know, have like more supporting parents or whatever, it's like the other person would just constantly diminish them or diminish what they have accomplished just because their parents were able to like support them in another area of their life. And it's like, that is toxic. You know, that, that person, yes, they are, they are lucky. They're more fortunate than others, maybe. 
but that does not diminish their hard work and their accomplishments and you know what they were able to do for themselves just because you did not have that and just because they did that still doesn't make them any less of a person these people will become bitter and they will become cynical because they believe that what they were not given in life or what that has happened to them has restricted them but it's like it comes to a point where your restrictions are only coming from you and you need to learn to move past them as best as you can even with baby steps it's like some people you know it's hard to move past things believe me i understand but at a certain point you have to realize when it's time to start making steps these people will not they will be reluctant to even accept that there are steps to be taken after or, or steps to overcome their hardships in life. They, they will not believe it. If you feel that you are more prone to a victim mindset, you have to understand that your experiences can make you a very strong and resilient person if you allow it to. You don't have to force yourself to get up and become a superhero today, but you have to have that hope that by moving forward and by overcoming whatever has happened to you or overcoming whatever you have lacked in life, it's like, you become more stronger than people who were given that to begin with. If I was handed everything that I had in life, I wouldn't be as ambitious or motivated as I am. My parents did give me a good amount. They did. They supported me, but not everything. I wouldn't have everything I have if, you know, if, if it were up to them. There would have came a point where they would have said, no, you get that for yourself. And last but not least, the follower versus the leader. And now listen, you don't need to be a CEO or a business owner to have leadership qualities. I'm talking about discernment, I'm talking about morals, I'm talking about values, I'm talking about responsibility. People who play the follower mindset, they lack self-esteem in the sense that they don't have clear set boundaries, they don't have clear set morals in place. So their affinity to backstab you and to do things that are not so favorable to you as their friend or their partner they don't really have their own standards in place. They don't really have their own rules and regulations in place. And again, their morals, their, their morals that guide them and guide their decision makings. They're more easily swayed by people based on status, based on money, based on looks, based on whatever it is that they perceive as valuable to them because they're, they're a follower. They, they follow whatever they think or that they were told is optimal or good or favorable to be following so these people are more prone to really not make their own decisions it becomes concerning when their actions will lead to negative outcomes for you so if you have a friend that values those things over friendship and over integrity and honesty then what do you think is going to happen when they meet other people that maybe you don't necessarily like because you do have morals and you do have values and you do have standards and you see that these people aren't good people. So you just wanna be concerned about what they're going to do in order to associate with these people, in order to speak with these people, in order to somehow be liked by these people, whether or not it has a price that you must pay. And I'm really not talking about people that are like easy and laid back. People who value things that really are not valuable in the end these people are also more likely to have an anything goes kind of mindset so as you can see why this would be dangerous in so many situations it's like no not anything goes you need to have discernment as to what people are telling you and as to what you believe and as to what you are spreading so again going back to social media it's like anyone can hop on tiktok and talk for a minute or two about one line that they read from a book and maybe even misinterpreted you have to understand that people with discernment you have leverage because you are not going to sit here and just think, oh, anything goes and just follow whatever someone is giving to you because they're appealing to your weaknesses and to your interests. So that's the thing is that these people will go and they will spread things or tell you things that they heard from God knows where. And that's not necessarily true. And they actually didn't sit the time to sit there and like think about what it is that they were told. Whether that's on social media, like something they learned or something that they heard from other people, it's like these people will just go and also talk about people's business without really thinking about, hmm, is this true or not? And they're just talking about it because they feel that it's like an intriguing conversation to be having and it's not. 
So these are just some things that I want you to maybe think about in your everyday interactions and again with social media because that's what really prompted me to make this video because I feel like it's infectious. You know, as, as the book says itself, it's an infection. When you are surrounded by unhappy and unlucky people and you allow their behaviors and the lack of their inner work to affect you and to affect your life and to affect your mindset, you really need to start thinking about how it is that you're going to start making changes, whether or not that is dismissing them from your life or compensating you know, their negativity with other positive people and other positive outlets in your life. Whether it's even listening to like a positive podcast or reading a positive book after you're around these people, it is imperative. It is so, so, so important. That'll actually do wonders for you. I'm not necessarily saying again that you abandon people when they need you, but there comes a time when people are very, very reluctant to change themselves and to work on themselves and to understand that life must go on, the show must go on. And so because they're unable to do that, eventually their confidence is affected. Eventually their self-esteem is affected and they affect the people in their lives because of it. Prevent that from happening to you and be aware of this. And again, be careful with what you are listening to and who you are listening to, okay? As always, hope this helped you and I will see you guys next time.